What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be covering why it is not the best idea to continue running your products with AliExpress. And uh, one of the things is I want to uh, include a personal story of, of what happened to me when I first started dropshipping. And uh, this is something that can happen to anyone. Uh, this is the first product that I find as a winner. It's uh, I'm going to put it up. It's a motorcycle speaker. And um, the product I created, the uh, I created the video ads myself. I was uh, I was from the ground up building this uh, product and it did re it did really well at the start and uh, i was targeting only the us and uh, this product did extremely well the sales we we got to even um and this is my first winner at all this is the first time i found a winner i got to two thousand almost three thousand dollars in revenue on a daily basis and uh one of the biggest issues i started finding out was when the orders were coming in for to the customers um they were either having assembly issues they they were uh, not fully satisfied with with the quality of the product. At the beginning, uh, I, I had issues with the quality control, and um, I wouldn't have been able to know that until uh, until the orders started arriving. This is one of the things I want to clarify: is when when you're beginning to see some success and some traction with the product. I would suggest to order it in for yourself to check and inspect it because it is much better uh, catching the flaws at a low scale than rather than having this mistake at a high scale where you're just sending out hundreds or if not uh, a couple of couple of thousands of orders a day if you're scaling at that level and then you don't want to find yourself uh, finding out about the mistake right after you scaled because um, at, at a lower at a lower um, uh, sales volume you definitely can fix it and move on and uh, and capitalize on it but if you find it later on when things is already <laughs> scaled up then uh, it's gonna be a lot of chargebacks is going to be a lot of things that you want to avoid and uh, you don't want to find yourself in that situation where um, uh, past past uh, past selling uh, and seeing some success, having to see returns, a lot of bad customer reviews. And in Facebook, uh, it, it, this was one of the worst killers to any stores is it was uh, having uh, not complying with the minimum amount of reviews to, to your store. So, guys, I think that. Um, it's not that I think it's just it's the way that it is. AliExpress is is at the at the bare minimum. It's a it's a way to test or to find products, but it's not actually it's not actually the the, the route you want to take to scale. There's just so many platforms nowadays that they provide you with faster shipping. That is just uh, it's just a lot better to not even use AliExpress. Uh, it's just for pure reference. And um, <clears throat> one of the things is that when when you when you're finally getting traction you have you have a couple options you can either find a private agent and this person is on foot on china getting you the best prices getting you the best shipping and uh, this person can definitely help you out to to get better quality uh sourcing and uh, that's just the first option another thing is that when you're already verified that this product is selling for you and you're getting a couple dozen orders a day you can start um, you know, you can start projecting the sales and, and buying inventory ahead. I'm not saying buy a ridiculous amount of inventory because you, you, you're not completely sure if it's uh, the next three weeks, if whatever may happen, you just want to have inventory one or two weeks ahead at the beginning. And then you get this inventory and uh, you, you start uh, marking it and uh, making sure that it's it's a uh, good quality it, it it meets all the requirements and then you start shipping it out and uh, you can either send this to a warehouse a fulfillment warehouse that actually dedicates themselves to this or you could do it yourself which will take a lot of time and i think that when you're focused on the growth aspect of of your store you should dedicate yourself to outsourcing the most that you can outsourcing is completely important it's one of the things that makes not just e-commerce is business any business grow when you are when you outsource when you delegate responsibilities that's the best way to scale finding things at a low scale you know finding out that your margins are not enough because if you do this at a big scale later on you might be breaking even or not even because 
you may be seeing an incredible amount of revenue but it's just it may not be enough so that's one of the things to take into account is that don't let revenue fool you keep track of your numbers and uh, always make sure that you have enough margins if you need to charge for shipping priority shipping uh, standard shipping 399 priority 799 with insurance something like that guys and uh, people people like to to buy those premium services they they do and uh and adding upsells and uh post-purchase upsells these things definitely give you the opportunity to to increase your average order value which is uh important and i'm getting a bit off track here but um just just want to bring this video out to say that aliexpress uh drop shipping is is not uh the most uh it's not the most effective idea. <clears throat> One of the things I want to go over in this video is what are some alternative methods that we can use in order to, um, you know, avoid using AliExpress. Although I already covered some, but I want to go in depth and uh, bring in some more things and uh, hopefully this will be of help to you guys. All right, guys. So here we are in SendDrop and uh, we have the air humidifier, which is a drop shipping product. And I just wanted to cover and go further in depth in uh, in how programs like like these work and uh, how it's a definite improvement from AliExpress. As you can see, they have uh, economy which uh i wouldn't suggest because 20 to 30 days is exactly what uh aliexpress offers but for an extra 50 cents you can get 10 to 15 day shipping which is a lot better and um the goal is to is to find better options to you know decrease your shipping times and uh, make it a lot faster so this is just one option and then I'm going to be showing you another good product that's been selling. Uh, I actually had it uh, here. Okay, the swimming shorts. Uh, these are color changing swimming shorts and uh, we are in summer. And this is a product that sells a lot now in the summer. And uh, as you can see as well, the product cost is $8.13, right? And um, the shipping plus the shipping here, let's say that we're using re regular shipping 10 to 15 days usa 7 to 12 which is not bad uh, guys this is a, a very good way to improve your your shipping and uh, i would suggest moving on from aliexpress as soon as you can it's just it, it's right now it, and with the way that things are going you want to hold yourself with the best um, reputation you want to keep your customers happy and uh, if you're transitioning to become a brand that's it's just a must it's a must so just covering with you guys um exactly all the steps and uh, just sun drop is a good app right now to use i'm not sponsored by them by any means but it's a good app to use and uh just like this uh there's there's also many more so uh hope you guys enjoyed this video hope this video was helpful and if it was please leave a like and uh subscribe also the the liking the video helps me out with the algorithm uh the algorithm will understand that uh, people are interacting with my videos they're enjoying it and that's one of the things i want is to help as many people as i can in their journey uh to help them grow and that's just one of my goals to help us as many people as possible and i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and uh i'm a little bit under the weather but i still made the time to to make this happen and uh hope you guys have a great 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 month uh great year and uh as as we continue we're almost approaching uh q3 and then q4 so guys take care